And life is like a song. Oh, the life of the rich and famous. Houston billionaire Ed Massage once even commissioned the fancy documentary just to show off his arrival at his mansion in Maine. There's his wife, Marie. It was just a vacation spot, another place for one of his yachts to hang out. And this is clearly the kind of stuff you do when money is clearly no object. Back home in Houston, there are three mansions. The one on Carnivon is clearly the biggest showpiece of them all. On the market for more than 30 million bucks. You've got to see it. The foyer comes in the form of a double height rotunda with sweeping vistas through marble colonnades, groin vault galleries and palatial reception rooms. In other words, Ed Bessage has never been shy about publicity. I grew up wanting to be an engineer, so I became an engineer. He was a pioneer in the Texas Medical Center. Just ask him. We were like the whiz kid scientists. Now he sells longer life through stem cells. My goal is always to be healthy and fit and playing tennis at age 120. Just weeks after the elderly mathematician got coronavirus, he was seen at Tony's restaurant with his young Russian girlfriend. He made the society pages. He's lucky. But now the 81-year-old Houston billionaire has suddenly grown shy. At the same time, he's trying to hide billions of dollars from his wife of 30 years. Ed doesn't show up in court. He lets his team of high-priced lawyers fight the battle against wife Marie. If he's going to uh, take everything from me and stop my world, that's kind of fraud. The divorce case has sparked national headlines. Dolce Fino Consulting has worked with The Wall Street Journal, CNBC, Forbes Magazine. Our investigation has clearly gotten under Ed Bosarge's skin. Two weeks ago, we were accused of being Marie's minions. In brand new court documents, Ed Bosarge complains of, quote, a dishonest media campaign to harass and embarrass him, denigrate and disparage him. The billionaire has avoided the cameras, but Marie hasn't. It's 50-50. I just want, I want what's fair. Ed Bosarge reportedly spent a million dollars in a year on his young Russian girlfriend and her family. Jewelry, cosmetics, clothes. But for the first time in the three-year divorce fight, Ed Bosarge suddenly wants a jury to believe he's getting a divorce because Marie committed adultery. But this trial won't be a battle about fidelity. It will be a battle about alleged fraud. Marie Bosarge claims her husband committed fraud when he secretly moved up to $2.3 billion into secret South Dakota trust as part of a scheme to cheat her. Fraud, an accusation that has followed this Houston billionaire for decades. Look at this 1983 article from the New York Times. Market manipulation charged by the Securities and Exchange Commission. And there's Ed Bosarge, accused of fraud, manipulation of stock shares. It was years before his marriage to Marie. If someone came to you tomorrow and said, should I do business with Ed Bosarge? No. No, you should not. Why not? I would not recommend it because you're going to wind up being uh, fleeced. Today, Janice Gemignani is the chief financial officer of a company in San Francisco. In 1986, she was in business with Ed Massage. It was years before his marriage to Marie. A company called Frontier Financial, Houston-based, but formed in the British Virgin Islands. Even back then, Ed Bosarge liked to use the Caribbean to avoid U.S. taxes. If you were going to be on the witness stand today and someone was going to ask you to describe Ed Bosarge, what would you say? A very intelligent, charming um, individual that, you know, has a tendency to bend you know, laws. We said witness stand because Janice Gemignani ended up suing Ed Bosarge. He was bleeding the company dry to yes. his lifestyle, right? Right. How can And you know, everything's mine. It's not, you know, it doesn't belong to the company. Is that greed to you? 
Henry? I believe that it is. Another business partner in the Frontier story with Bosarge was a guy named Rafael Denoyo. We read about him in the book called The Predictors. Denoyo supposedly once called Bosarge a pure con man. But Denoyo, he was later accused of fraud too. A loose ball, live ball. Jim Burt with it. Jim Burt is in for the touchdown. If you were a football fan in the early 80s, you remember Jim Burt, the Giants nose tackle, famous for his takedown of Joe Montana, winning two Super Bowls. Burt sued Denoyo, claiming he essentially stole $2 million from him. That made headlines. Denoyo promised to pay the money back, but apparently didn't. Another name in the frontier story with Bosarge, Houston lawyer Joe Valentino. Today, he's waiting extradition to the Netherlands for tax evasion. Frontier later collapsed in a flurry of lawsuits, and that was a long time ago. Gemignani claimed Bosar stole millions, corporate assets, technology, and then tried to illegally take control of the company. He was, you know, misusing the voting trust in order to, you know, do whatever he wanted to do. Um, and, um, it, you know, just... It all came apart, you know, pretty quickly. The Frontier fight sounds an awful lot like another lawsuit Bosarge is involved in. The legal battle over Houston-based Quantlap being fought in Delaware courts and here in the Harris County Courthouse. The Houston-based trading company boasts about the power of science and technology to make money in the financial markets. And once again in that case, Bosarge is accused of fraud and a legal power play to cheat the other two partners in Quant Lab, Andre Oltmelchenko and Bruce Eames, who had little to say to us when he showed up to watch one of the hearings in the divorce case. Do you believe that a lot of money was hidden from Ms. Bosarch? Let's just put it this way. Any marriage that gets to this point, it's a very unfortunate situation. That's all I really should say right now. It's sad, right? Yeah. Your lawsuit's still going on. Yes. The fired partners claim Bosarge is now trying to steal that company. Today, Ed Bosarge runs his main companies out of this secure building in Greenway Plaza. It's called Capital Technologies Limited, a.k.a. CapTech. Court documents in South Dakota in the divorce case are sealed, essentially a gag order. But you know us, we've got some of those secret South Dakota records right here. And this Houston office may now play a big role in the fraud trial. Bosarge claims his wife knows good and well he was moving money into trust because he sent word through his chief administrative officer, Darla Tollefson. Like Ed, she doesn't want to talk to us. Greenway Plaza is host to another Bosarge venture, the Houston Health Span. They're involved in regenerative medicine, stem cells. With the patients treated so far, we have some very exciting results. One of the companies is Regenevi. The first guinea pig for the Bosarge stem cell company was none other than Ed Bosarge. And it happened at the Okeanos Treatment Center in the Bahamas. The purchase of Okeanos has sparked another big legal fight about possible fraud. The former owner says he was cheated in the purchase, in part because he wouldn't break FDA rules. That's why the FDA might want to take a closer look at a sworn deposition we've obtained in that case. Dr. Mark Penn, he used to be CEO of Black Beret Life Sciences, the investment and management arm of the Bosarge family office. Did Okeanos get FDA approval for what they did? It's a good question for the feds. The Okeanos Treatment Center is now being liquidated by the courts in the Bahamas. And yes, you guessed it, there are more fraud allegations. Okeanos claims the medical building was destroyed by Hurricane Dorian. The landlord says, that's nonsense. They tried to sneak the equipment out. A judge had to stop it. You know, he's he, he's so smart, okay? And he's just, he can be so charming. Janice is following all the drama, especially in the Houston divorce case. I was hoping and praying that Marie had 
put something aside for herself, all right? So, um, you know, she wouldn't wind up, you know, on the street after this. Marie is now deep in debt, mostly to lawyers. She asked Judge Chip Wells more than a month ago to force her husband to at least give her enough money to keep fighting to a jury. The judge has issued no ruling on that. But the judge has responded to complaints from Ed Basarge about media coverage, complaining that guys like me are being mean to him. Quoting, professional media consultants have been hired to conduct an ongoing media campaign related to these proceedings, including the issuance of press releases. The judge even worries that growing publicity about what Ed Bosarge did to his wife represents, quote, a clear and present danger to him getting a fair trial. No more courthouse interviews with Marie Bosarge. It's my money, you know, it's my money too. That's, that's what's so frustrating, you know. Uh, we earned that money together while we've been married. No offense, Your Honor, but that whole First Amendment thing, well, it's kind of important too. And we like to investigate cases of family injustice. You were not surprised. I mean, you think Ed Bosarge is the kind of guy that would leave his wife penniless if he could get away with it. He might, yeah. You're unforgettable.